right to AJ detailing. And today we will be testing out Alien Magic Wave, which is their wash and wax shampoo. So I'm going to test today its cleaning abilities and whether it is going to leave any wax layer behind, any protective layer, see whether we'll get any beading. But my guess, like most cross enhancers, is that, sorry, my pressure washer pump's just uh, regaining pressure, but um, my guess is that it's just going to be gloss enhancers. So we're just going to see whether this is going to be any good. But supposedly this is a super concentrate. I'm pretty sure it states here, yep. So one part to 500 parts in water, which is, I don't know why they say a super concentrate, to be honest. Here, oh no, uh, what does it say? There we go. Concent oh no, concentrated power. But I mean, if they did say it was a super concentrate, it'd be kind of false because you super con concentrate to like your um, your eye bright shampoos, which are like 1500 to one, and then your car chem ones, which are like super concentrated at like 1900 to one. But yeah, so I'm just going to fill up the bucket first. So I'll just time lapse that, and then we'll uh, add the wash and wax shampoo and we'll see how much it foams up. Seems this product is um, one part to 500. We are going to need um, about 50 mil. So let's just add 50 mil, which is probably about that. And let's, uh, let's spruce it up and see how many suds we get. Probably quite a lot, I imagine. So. so. So, bearing in mind that this is a wash and wax shampoo, I do think that that has um, foamed up quite well. Especially, I think so, very nice. But um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how this performs, shall we? So guys, the first test is on the bonnet. So we're just gonna give that a jet wash up first. <laughs> see whether this shampoo does actually add any wax protection or it is mainly just gloss enhancers which I suspect so let's just uh just give it a shot shall we just flip the microfiber to the other side it unfortunately is quite warm today so I've got to kind of be on a bit of a rush not brush as such, but a bit quicker. So we'll get washed that off and we'll uh, we'll see whether it's actually leaving any wax layer. <laughs> Disappointed. I haven't even left a, you know any beading at all or there's no sheeting whatsoever because this car isn't protected so gloss enhancers though mm, we'll see at the end when I once I've finished and dried the car but if I'm honest it isn't looking very good so uh, yeah not very impressed but We'll wash the rest of the car and we'll uh, we'll see what we think via the uh, end of the wash. So I will have a chat with you once I have finished and I'll just give my thoughts on it and see how the cleaning abilities are. I mean, it has took all of the dirt off the bonnet, so except from some of the vodka, vodka, 
bug guts. Talk over them again, but yeah. Other than that, it's still all right. I'd say it's just more of a Ashton wouldn't really mark it as a wash and wax shampoo. I don't really see any sheet in except from the odd patch. But yeah, so I'll just have a chat with you in a minute once I've washed the whole car and give you my opinion. So I'll be back in a minute. Final results after the wave shampoo. And look how glossy that is. I have added a bit of a spray wax as well, so that might be a reason too. But, but yeah, it is beautiful. It absolutely shines like mad, the reflection. It's brilliant. Added some uh, UAC tie dressing and it gives it that matte look. It looks factory fresh. Brand new tyres, looks like. Yeah, but just like to say, overall conclusion, give the product, I'm just going to give it a 3 out of 5 because it didn't actually leave any wax protection behind at all. But glass levels were pretty decent and cleaning power was average. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and uh, remember to subscribe and like and uh, I'll see you in the next one.